And tonight, Gross Eel is on alert over the death of an owl. That tops our news tonight at 6 o'clock. An island-wide alert is going out for all neighbors on Gross Eel. Officials want neighbors to avoid using rat poison if they have a rodent problem. This after a large, beautiful owl was seen alive one day and then dead the next. Sean Lay is on Gross Eel with the details. Sean? We're here on Gross Eel, taking in all the Vista views. People here love seeing the wildlife, in particular, the birds. This week, though, an owl caught the eye of the animal control officer, and it appeared something was wrong. Tonight, there is concern. It was a disturbing find for this neighbor in this condo community on Gross Eel. It was deceased. An owl, a large one, and it was alive after landing in a driveway. Then suddenly, it expired. He and his neighbors want to know what was wrong with the owl, citing possible health concerns. Neither one of us knew what uh, died of. What do we know now? They're having it tested. Julie Cordes is the animal control officer on Gross Hill. She actually encountered this owl. Uh, good morning. Hello. This week, she shot this video of it, and it was unusual to see it during the day and allowing her to get so close to it. A great horned owl is pretty big. So it was hard to miss. It stopped me in my tracks. The next day, Cordis saw the owl again. This time it was dead. She sent it straight to the state DNR for testing. It could have been infected by West Nile virus, and that's a concern. But if we can isolate that this was West Nile, well, now we know we have it on Grozeal. It also could have eaten a mouse that had rat poison in its system, killing the bird. Cordis is putting out the alert. Be aware of West Nile and try not to use rat poison if you have a mouse issue. To use poison, that's completely out of my vocabulary. Back here live, this mystery of this beautiful owl that died on the island is going to continue for about two weeks. Bird sent the DNR for testing, but the results on that testing, Jason and Kimberly won't be back until about uh, between about 10 and 14 days from now. Back to you. And Sean, what if it is West Nile? Then what? If it's, if it's West Isle, then uh, island officials can then uh, alert residents and neighbors there about how to protect themselves from mosquitoes. The thing about avoiding rat poison is something that the animal control officer recommends. It's something people can do right away. Indeed. Okay, Sean, keep us posted. Thanks.